All right. Welcome, everybody, back to Time is Honey. Went ahead and finished my stands here. Let me go ahead and give everybody a quick peek. Um, Houston Shelton, I saw your comment. DC Bees, I saw yours also, man. Yeah, you know, this is what my mentor does here in Texas. And uh, I was out doing some work with him and doing some removal and stuff of some bee stands. And this is, this is what he did with his. And Houston, yeah, these are going to last forever now. I'll never have to replace these bee stands. These, these can go anywhere now at this point. Um, and also what I did, a little bit of, well, not a little bit, but I put some red axle grease around the base of this. And then also I put some diatomaceous earth right there at each base. But also what I did under the cedar barrier here, I pulled the cedar back here. So this is about two, I got about two inches of cedar barrier right here in the bee yard. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and pulled back all the barrier from here all the way back and then I put another layer of diatomaceous earth underneath. So if there's any beetles or anything trying to get through, there's no way because one, there's a, a heavy duty weed barrier and then another layer of diatomaceous earth, the food grade. So U-bolts, these are quarter inch galvanized pipe with some one and a half inch um, U-bolts. I got them from Ace Hardware. All in all, guys, I think I paid right around 150, 175 for the full setup. Poles were 40 bucks for six. The galvanized, that was the most expensive, the galvanized. Absolutely crazy, $41, man, for a 10 foot pole. But like Houston was saying, yeah, these will last forever. That's what my mentor said too. You'll never have to basically go out and buy another stand setup again. The only thing I'll probably have to replace is these U-bolts. Those were three, four, those were three bucks a pop though. So definitely learning in the process. Have to go from this to this because of ants. Well, that too. And really just to get prepared for the summer because I know there's other pest problems here. Ants, scorpions, mice, snakes, you know, skunks, all kinds of really cool animals that like to aggravate the bees. Speaking of bees. These girls are doing really strong right now. I haven't been in them in a couple weeks. I'm supposed to get some cruddy weather, so. Um, there we go, there they are. These girls are pretty calm for the most part. I can come out here and work with them and got a few guard bees that, that definitely let you know. But for the most part, these girls are pretty calm. This is their demeanor for the most part. So, got a sugar shim right here. This is eight pounds of sugar. So, those are my girls. I know I haven't been out doing anything in a while, but. Yeah, so, here's my yard. And this is kind of what's been going on with it. So. Yeah, kind of excited to get, I'll move them tonight. I'm not gonna move them right now. I'll wait till later. But yeah, just kind of a quick rundown of what the final product looks like. And yeah, DC, what I did, I didn't go much past the flanges uh, pounding the poles in. I really didn't. I went, I went maybe a half an inch past the flanges. Not very far, because the dirt here is really hard and compact too. So I didn't have to uh, go quite too deep. So yeah, there's my bee yard. That's my apiary. It's 12 by 12. So I figure I could fit in here now, just like I was planning before, even if I were to keep the pallet system in, but I'm not going to. That's going to go. I mean, I could definitely fit more, more boxes in here now at the end of the day, because each of these runs can probably hold about five boxes. So five, 10, 15. And I want to do about three runs in here of the same setup. So that's that's what I want my apiary strength to be between 12 and 15 and if I can get it up to you know five by the end of the season I'll be happy with that and then hopefully 10 by next year so yeah just a quick update you know thanks for all the input you guys I really do appreciate it and uh you know I'm open to comments concerns questions you know it definitely was it definitely did bite the pocket a little bit a couple you know, 175 I mean but Again, this is this stuff will last forever. I mean, galvanized the, the T-post, 
you know, I'll never have to buy another setup again for building a, a B stand. So yeah, it was definitely worth it. Costs outweighed, or the benefit outweighed the cost definitely. Because at the end of the day, I'm not gonna have to worry about ants and my damn bees. <laughs> and that's the issue. I mean, that's the issue I'm having, I'll show you, look. There's ants right there. See them? Little bastards. Look at them. So they're going inside my sugar shim right there, eating the sugar, stressing out the bees, so it's time to, they gotta go. There's the girls down there. Nice. What I also did, just so nobody can say they didn't know, I don't know if anybody knows about the purple paint law. The purple paint law basically means keep out. So I gotta do the rest of the post on my bee yard. I also do this around my property so when people know to keep out. And in Texas, that's a universal sign that you just don't, it, you just don't come in, basically. It, that's, that holds more legal grounds than the no trespassing sign, basically, here in Texas. And I know that other states carry it too, but if you paint purple like that, it means keep out. So I'm gonna paint the rest of the poles later. So y'all, thanks for watching, man. I do appreciate you guys watching and, and following the channel. Hit that like and subscribe. I am first year, so you know, watch me, you're gonna watch me evolve, man. This is gonna be fun. Um, I'm really excited about this new stand, actually. I wanna move the bees right now, but I'll wait. So, questions, comments, and concerns, man, you guys leave them below. DC Bees, Houston Shelton, big shout out, man. Thanks for your guys' input, man. Really do appreciate that. So that's, it is a finished product deal. That's what it's gonna be. So, thanks for all watching, y'all. Man, y'all have a good day.